Okay, thank you very much. And thank you very much for the introduction um, and welcome everybody. Thank you very much for attending today. Uh, so yes, uh, that's a really good introduction, a good bit of background about me. Um, and my topic today will be about studying a foundation course in the UK. I think, um, yeah, okay, hope it, hopefully everybody heard that, I think I, I was being muted. Uh, okay, so first of all, um, what is an international foundation year? So a good question, because many students will attend university and go directly into undergraduate year one, but some students will need to study um, an international foundation year in order to enter a bachelor's degree in the UK. So what it does is it it's extends... I'm sorry, but I, I seem to be continuing to get muted. So if somebody could could just monitor that. Um, it extends your degree time by one year. Um, and it's for students who can't meet the equivalent grades that are needed to go directly into undergraduate year one. Um, so typically for candidates who, who may only complete 12 years uh, at, at school and not 13. So um, candidates who maybe uh, study A-levels um, or the International Baccalaureate are able to go directly into undergraduate year one. But for many students, um, the UK universities may consider them to be slightly um, underqualified and so therefore needing another, another year um, in order to, to progress to bachelor's. So it it's bridges the gap basically between high school and undergraduate study and it gives you a really good platform um, in order to move into undergraduate study. So it, it um, uh, gives you a foundation um, of academic modules as well as English um, and study skills and prepares you for, for learning um, at undergraduate le level in the UK. But as I say, it does increase your study time by one year. Typically, bachelor's degrees, degrees in the UK are three years in total. Um, so this extra year would um, expand your degree to four years, which is actually the equivalent um, of, a, of a, a United States bachelor's degree. So um, you're not actually extending any further time than you would if you were planning to study in the USA, for example. OK, so that's what an international foundation year is. So what are the options? Well, there are a really wide variety uh, of programmes to choose from. Some of them may be very general. Some of them may offer a specific pathway to particular undergraduate programmes, such as business or science or engineering, for example. And typically, they're one year in duration, um, although some programmes um, may offer a condensed um, opportunity or a condensed option um, by offering maybe a programme that starts in January and finishes in August. But typically, um, most uh, foundation degrees or foundation uh, programs start in September and run through till about July of the following year. Um, so do check that out. Make sure you do your research if you're looking to apply, uh, because they may have slightly different entry requirements depending on whether you want to start at the um, September option or whether you want to condense the program and, and do a shorter program that maybe starts in the January of your receiving year. Um, decide what suits you. There are lots of different options for this type of study. Um, there are some very general um, foundation year providers who offer quite a kind of college-like environment. So something that may not be too dissimilar to school, um, but may, um, may not suit you, or it may, you may find that this is the sort of environment that you, you think that you will study best. So when you're doing your research, make sure that you're looking for a wide variety of different programs, looking for the entry requirements um, that you need in order to study um, in that particular program, and have a look at the sort of environment that you'll be studying in. Um, so, and make sure that you're checking the entry requirements so that you, you know what all of the options are available to you. So options are available all over the UK, um, but if you want to study to uh, progress to a particular university and completion, it's always best to check that the university that you intend to study in does accept the foundation year that you're looking to take in order to, to progress to, to bachelor's study in the UK. Um, because not all um, international foundation years are acceptable for all different institutions. So do plenty of research and don't be afraid to ask um, admissions teams at your receiving university if they will accept the um, foundation year that you're wanting to offer. Um, so check that it's available for entry. Check whether you need to sort of submit additional tests uh, on completion of your foundation. Um, many foundation programmes, in fact, all of them, will um, include an element of um, English and study skills. But, not, but that English and study skills module isn't always um, 
uh, acceptable for the receiving institution, they may want you to take an additional English test such as IELTS or TOEFL in order to, to um, progress to bachelor's degree. So make sure that that, that is an option. Um, and make sure um, that the pathway that you're choosing, um, so if you're wanting to study a business degree, for example, a bachelor's, um, bachelor's uh, at undergraduate level, um, they may be unlikely to accept a, uh, a foundation where you've studied more of a scientific route. So make sure that if there is a pathways approach um, from the foundation provider that you're looking at, that it is providing you modules that will be suitable for your chosen degree when you move on. And we'll just talk a little bit more about that now. So what will you learn? OK, well, typically um, international foundation years are 120 credits in total. Um, and those programmes will be split down into a number of different um, modules for you to study throughout the year. So they will always include an element of academic study skills. And what that module is, is a way of preparing you for bachelor's study. So teaching you how to research, teaching you how to write an essay, teaching you how to kind of use your own skills um, and to work on your own and independently in order to move smoothly into an undergraduate, um, uh, undergraduate year. Um, English for academic purposes, we mentioned, um, what this really does is, is really prepare you for using English in the way you will need to use it um, once you uh, progress to bachelor's study. Um, it's an important module. You will, that's, this is why you will need to have a certain level of English before you start, before you embark on an international foundation year. But as I mentioned previously, the English for academic purposes module may not be automatically acceptable for the bachelor's degree that you intend in focusing on. So do check that because you may need to make, take another test on finishing the foundation. Obviously, there will be subject specific modules, um, which is what I mentioned about choosing a pathway that is appropriate to the to the undergraduate program you want to study. So for um, a business module, for example, there may be elements of economics, there may be elements of finance that you need to, to study and you will study within that, that foundation year. Obviously, there will be support offered. One of the really good things about studying at foundation level is that the universities or the pathway providers are very aware that this is your first time in the UK, that it's a different um, way of learning than it would be to school. So you will get lots of support from your pathway provider to make sure that you, you are successful and that you can move on to your, your bachelor's degree. Uh, you will are likely to need to to achieve particular grades within the foundation year in order to progress onto the bachelor's degree. Um, so it is something that you need to work hard at and you'll need to check before you um, choose the pathway provider, maybe what the, the, the progression entry requirements are for that particular university. But it's a fantastic way of networking and integrating into the UK way of study. Um, and hundreds and thousands of students do this every year and find it a really, really excellent way of building a platform so that they can move into undergraduate study. OK, so um, obviously I need to, uh, it wouldn't be right for me to not mention a little bit about what we can offer at Leeds. Um, so the University of Leeds is as one of the largest universities in the UK. It has 38,000 students, about 12,000 of which are from outside of the UK. Um, and some fantastic statistics there um, about how we rank globally. So fifth most targeted university for graduate recruiters. We are very proud to be a top 100 um, UK university uh, repeatedly in the in the top 100 QS world rankings um, and students that join us do have an excellent um, experience. Um, the reason that I'm focusing a little bit on the University of Leeds is that we offer um, our own international foundation year so it's campus based and that's something I should possibly have mentioned before that there are a number of different ways to, to sort of enter a university so or to, to, to choose a pathway provider. Some of them may be more of a kind of college environment, as I mentioned earlier, but some may, may more be um, a university-based um, foundation year, such as the University of Leeds International Foundation Year, which will kind of integrate you immediately into the university way of life and the university way of thinking. So the University of Leeds IFY, established for over 30 years, taught on campus by University of Leeds academics, and you have access to all of the University of Leeds facilities. So that's one way of choosing a pathway provider. Do you want to be directly on that university and immediately progress onto the bachelor's degree? Or do you want to choose something that's more of a college environment that is based away from different universities, but gives you an opportunity to apply for a number of different universities um, with that particular uh, pathway at foundation level? 
Okay, so how would you apply? Uh, well, normally, um, international foundation years, you would apply online. So you don't need to apply through UCAS. It's not like a, a kind of a standard undergraduate program. Um, and each institution will usually have its own application process. Um, so you would submit all of your documents online. Um, typically, you'd be asked to submit maybe your passport, maybe any information about previous UK study to make sure that it's okay for you to get a visa. Obviously, your transcripts and your English language may be a reference and a personal statement. So you would apply online. Um, and it's a really good idea to do your research beforehand, um, to visit online open days, to get an idea of what each um, pathway provider can, can provide for you and, and to see what your, your, your top choices might be. Um, but my real advice is to do your research. Um, you may find that that you apply for undergraduate study and um, directly with the qualifications that you've got, but don't quite meet the requirements um, in order to go on to that bachelor's degree. And many institutions will have a referral system back to their foundation um, for students to do an additional year. So there are lots of different ways that you might find yourself being offered a foundation programme. Um, I'm available to speak to in the University of Leeds um, virtual booth at the exhibition. I would also recommend that you speak to our, our, our colleagues Al Halam, who work very closely with our foundation year and can um, refer you to foundation years all across the UK. They are very much the experts um, in, in speaking to and, and guiding students in this area. So I think that's about it from me. Um, if there are any questions, they're obviously more than happy to, to accept any questions from the attendees.